Welcome back to the fort. We are about to pick back up with our Dragon Master series book, Shine of the Silver Dragon. We are starting back with Chapter 7, Jean's Story. They started to follow Jean across the tower, but Carlos stopped. I think Lalo and I should stay here, he said. I can keep him calm, and we can keep a lookout for Diego. Is Diego this very bad wizard you spoke of? Jean asked. No, Drake replied, but the very bad wizard Maldred has put Diego under a spell. He sent Diego here to steal the silver key. Then he must not let him get inside the castle, Jean said. Carlos, let me show you something. She walked to the edge of the tower, looking out over the hillside. A dozen catapults were lined up along the tower's edge. They don't look like any of the catapults I've seen before, Carlos said. A catapult usually had a heavy weight on one end and a basket holding a large weight on the other. But at the end of each of these catapults was a long, narrow basket with ten rocks nestled inside. I improved them, Jean explained. When you cut the rope attached to the basket, the weight will drop. Then the rocks will go flying forward. I changed these catapults to shoot several rocks so that it looks like there are many soldiers up here. Wow, Jean is really smart, Drake thought. Your idea worked, he said. We thought you were fa we were facing an army. Jean smiled and then turned to Carlos. I've got six more catapults loaded, if you need them, she told him. Then she walked over to the opposite wall where a rope was hanging. Pull on this rope if you see any wizards. A bell will ring in Argent Slayer. Carlos nodded. I will. Jean knelt down and opened a door on the floor. Drake, Bo, and their dragons followed her a long way down a twisting stairway. Do you live here all alone? Drake asked. I am not alone, Jean replied. Argent is here with me. Don't you have a wizard, Bo asked. The wizard lives in, with, with the king of Galia, far from here. Jean explained, nobody can be trusted to guard the silver key except Argent and his dragon master. Argent has been guarding the key since the wizards of the north first made it. Griffith, our wizard, told us that the keys were made a very long time ago, Drake said. So Argent must have had many dragon masters. Yes, Jean said. I am proud to be his newest master. Don't you get lonely, Bo asked. They had come to a door at the end of the staircase. I keep myself busy, Jean said. She opened the door. Come, I will show you. Chapter 8 Awesome Inventions Drake, Bo, and their dragons followed Jean into a big room filled with all kinds of strange-looking objects made out of metal, gears, and wires. Some looked like weapons, and others looked like toys. Drake stopped in front of a metal bird sitting on top of a wooden post. Turn the handle, Jean said, pointing to a curved bar coming out of the post. Drake thought he saw a twinkle in her eye. He turned the handle and the bird began to spin around in a circle. Cool, Drake cried. Did you make all of this stuff, Bo asked? Jean shrugged. It helps to pass the time. I have never known anybody who could make such awesome inventions, Drake said. Jean looked pleased for a second, but then her face grew serious. That is enough talk about my inventions. Tell me about this evil wizard, Maldred. Maldred just escaped from Wizard's Council Prison, Drake said. We think he wants to steal the silver and gold keys and that, so that he can control the Naga and destroy the world. We don't know where he is, Bo added, but we know that Diego is under his spell. Luckily, my dragon shoe can wash drought dark spells away. He will cure Diego. But it won't be easy. Diego has a special magic that lets him poof in and out of places, Drake explained. We have to act fast when we see him. 
so he doesn't poof away with the silver key before Shu can cure him. Jean smiled. He cannot poof into, gar into Argent's lair, she said. It is protected by powerful magic. Maybe, Drake said, but Maldred has broken through magical barriers before. If he is adding his power to Diego's, Diego might be able to get into the lair. We'll see, she said. She led Drake, Bo, Worm, and Shu into a long hallway. They followed her to a big door. Jean spun a series of gears that clicked and whirred until the door opened. Drake was surprised to see a second door behind it. Jean spun more gears and opened the second door, which revealed one more door. Argent's lair is really well protected, Drake thought. Jean pushed open the third door. A bright silver glare hit Drake's eyes. Wow, this one is really super good. We'll be back tomorrow evening to pick up with Chapter 9.